Hello everyone, I'm Anna Vanilla. Welcome to the channel Anna Vanilla Arts, where I place and upload a lot of things that I know, but I've learned over the years, and I'm sharing everything that I know with you. Hopefully there are a couple of things, a couple of videos that would give you some knowledge, some more uh, in-depth into certain categories of, of craft for example knotting, knitting, drawing all sorts of things that I do on my channel I share with you so, so please feel welcome to have a look at my videos and um, hopefully you can find something new something different something unique all my patterns are unique you will never find anywhere else on the internet and hopefully you're going to like this hat too so this is the hat that i'm knitting at the moment i used needles number five uh, 74 stitches 74 loops on my needles and this is a very very simple pattern even a beginner could do it or all, all you need to know is to be slightly focused on the fact that if you knit it correctly it will turn out to be the right design the right pattern so you need just not to get confused and all in all it's simple so um, so the yarn is acrylic yarn as you can see it's got sparkles it's very lovely I love the color and this is how we start the first row so with my right needle I pick up the first loop and I do not need this one the first loop I never ever need I just transfer it on the right needle and then we begin the pattern with a front stitch and then we change it to the pearl stitch front stitch pearl stitch front stitch pearl stitch so you do one front stitch and one pearl stitch but don't forget please it's very important to remember that you always need to start this row with a front stitch and the second loop to always be um, a pearl stitch but the first loop to be always the front stitch and that's how you knit until the end of this row one front stitch and one pearl stitch and you repeat it over and over again but please don't get confused just bear in mind and um, knit carefully so that you know you get the track of which one you've done before like for example you know that from a front stitch it goes on to um, pearl stitch and so on so we knit it this way all this row front stitch and pearl stitch and so on I would like to apologize for a little mistake I said uh, 74 stitches in total that I've got on my needles but it's actually 75 it needs to be 75 stitches if you do the same head like mine because um, the way the pattern works is you need to have enough loops to work out the pattern so what you need to do is not need the first uh, loop the first stitch and then even if you see uh, a pearl stitch this is a second row even if you see the, 
the pearl stitch you knit it like so as a front stitch the second loop needs to be front stitch so after the first uh, loop you do not need you need two front stitches then you need three pearl stitches even if you don't see a pearl stitch let's say the second one is uh, front stitch you need it with a pearl stitch so that it works out to make this pattern um, as you need so uh, three front stitches three pearl stitches three front stitches and so on until the end of this row and at the end you have two loops left two stitches and it's got to be um, two front stitches at the end if it's um, at the end two front stitches then it means you are doing this pattern correctly and it turns out to be correctly um, for you so you need three pearl stitches three front stitches uh, but you start this second row with two front stitches is important to be two not three so that you can do this pattern correctly and then after you do the two front stitches in the beginning uh, you should do three pearl stitches and then again three front stitches three pearl stitches three front stitches and so on until the end of this row and at the end of this row um, you will see two front stitches and the last one the last loop you need with a pearl stitch and this is it this is uh, the pattern for this hat which is simple but you need to be just tiny bit a little bit careful uh, to make sure you do certain variation of front stitches and pearl pearl stitches and it will turn out right for you and look at this pattern is um, on on the front is the same as on the back of um, the garment so it's a very beautiful pattern you will not regret knitting it so I wish you luck and we meet up when um, the hat will be done so good luck to you this is the finished hat which i'm very proud of because i love it i think it looks fantastic the pattern is just so easy to memorize it's so easy to do it even a beginner could do this easily this is um the stitch at the back you can't even see it you can't even notice i've done the careful stitching and now i would like to show you how i hide my last cord my last yarn my, my last thread i sort of i see a loop and i kind of follow it like so like this and then I make a knot to make sure it secures it and it's and it stays there even when you wash it many times when you wear it and so I have done I've made uh, a knot and then I hide this yarn through the loops like so I just follow uh, this stitching the back stitching and I hide the yarn slightly like so and then I cut it off so by the way this is a needle which you can buy anywhere so it's a plastic neon green in this color 
that I have. It's my favorite needle actually. It's meant for sewing um, when you need something. Now we cut this cord, this yarn, and this is it. This is the finished, finished hat. As you can see, it's fantastic. It's large. It's a beanie hat. Maybe you can call it a beanie hat. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. The color just amazes me. It's so unique, so stylish as well. Hello again, everyone. This is the end of this project of this hat that we are doing a video about. As you can see, it's so stretchy, it's so wonderful, it's simple to do, yet it looks like a complement, complicated um, pattern design. But um, as you can see, it's stunning, it looks like the combination of pearl stitches and front stitches and it just, it just looks beautiful, I love it. The color is fantastic. I love this color. I always, when I see it in the shops, I buy more and more of this color to make garments for my um, accessories for my channel because I just love this color so, so much. It even has like a little sparkle on it. And, and it is acrylic yarn, which is good because um, I am allergic, uh, personally, I'm allergic to wool, natural fibers, but uh, with acrylic yarn is easy wash, easy care, easy wear, it lasts forever, no moth would ever eat your um, yarn, your garment. This is the back of a hat, as you can see it's here, you can't even tell because it's so neatly done and this is a stitch at the back where I've hidden all the odds and ends like I've shown you in this video this is the crown and this is how it looks like the top of a hat looks fantastic I love it I think it did turn out to be a nice project in the end and it's easy to do all you need to do is uh, to be a bit more careful when you need to make sure your uh, loops are always right and the right amount as you need. I love this hat. I hope you do as well. I hope you're going to do this hat yourself as well or for your family and friends because it's just lovely and I think it's unisex if you were to take for example a darker color tones like blue or um, black brown gray would suit men for sure if it's light in color it can suit children women just anyone. I think it's unisex. It would be very popular with everybody. Uh, I think the pattern is fantastic. It's so simple to do and um, it's rarely found on the internet. That's why I decided to make this pattern myself and showing it to you so that you can uh, have a chance to do something as beautiful as this or even more beautiful and let's have a look at my mannequin how it will going to look my hat onto my mannequin as you can see it looks fantastic it covers the ears it's slightly more voluminous um, on the crown because i like for it to be a bit larger in case i do some hair do like some updo hair and this is a stitch at the back which is barely unnoticeable uh, covers the ears as you can see this is 
have it like so it covers the forehead it keeps warm it keeps the hair into place and i think it's fantastic i hope you like it and i hope you can share your pieces with me maybe you can send me a pic about your projects that you've done from my tutorials and i'll be glad to see that you are doing my projects my tutorials and that i've been helpful to you with all my designs and everything so hopefully we can share and have fun together please subscribe and um, watch my videos and you can choose plenty of things that you can do without getting bored because i do lots of things from crochet from knitting from uh, uh, drawing and etc i do many i do many different things and please subscribe and leave comments below um just so i know my tutorial was somehow useful to you maybe you've learned something new from my channel which was useful to you as well so um please put the likes on my channel on my videos and please enjoy my patterns i hope um you can do things like so also so let's meet up in the next video and wish you good luck in your making of beautiful things so thank you very much for watching and see you soon in the next video bye